The look we created for Suno is a bit like uh, sophisticated holiday hair. It's a bit Catherine Hepburn. We're using like uh, mousse, like a hairspray, just a dryer, no brush. And we're doing this in an organic way to have this touch of sophistication. Usually we start off thinking about inspiration points together, looking at prints together, looking at fabrics together, and then Aaron does all the heavy lifting with the drawing. It's a lot of coming back and forth, you know, and I think a lot of it is kind of like Max, Max throws out some ideas, I throw out some ideas, and then I kind of go and play and like, you know, and if, when we find some different directions, and sometimes he's like, I'm not that into it, and I'm like, well, I'm really into it. I'm going to keep going this way, but I'll also explore this way. And then we kind of... I don't know, it comes together. It comes together, yeah. Usually I fall most in love with that which I resisted the most at the beginning. It's true, he always loves, he like, always no, loves. that one we're not doing, and <laughs> and it's the one that I say we're absolutely not doing that one, <laughs> that by the end of the process. She's like pulling it out to show Anna. <laughs> yeah. If you think about a young girl and maybe what her thoughts are about about sexuality and death and disease and you know I think it was less a narrative than we normally have it was more kind of a mood and I think we felt like I in particular felt like that young girl <laughs> no I mean it's an essence it's an essence and it's, it's definitely exploring where we are what we're facing and sort of that like the sensuality how fragile innocence is and how within that there's such a sort of conundrum and such an exploration and you know how do we want to grow where do we want to go how do you get more sophisticated how do you grow up as a fashion brand so it was fun it was a different way of designing I think there's definitely still sort of that clear graphic geometric feeling that we expressed before but I think there's sort of a sense that we've gone somewhere else maybe like underwater there's a diaphanous sort of etherealness to it. I'm just kind of exploring, you know, sexuality, maintaining the same femininity, but doing it in different ways. There's something about the different shapes of women and trying to make sure that they all want to wear your clothes and what makes women feel comfortable and how do they feel comfortable in a really printed, perceivably hard to wear concept and how do you make it less of that? I think we have a particularly challenging process because one, we're such a print-driven line, and then our production process is quite different from a lot of other people. So we produce in New York, but we also produce a lot of the line in Africa, in Kenya. We produce a lot in India, all our beaded and embroidered pieces, and then we do all our knits out of Peru. So we actually have to travel to all of those places to get it going to see how the production process works each season. And then we bring people to help where, where help is needed. CFD Vogue Fashion Fund picked 10 designers, and Suno is one of the 10. Erin and Max are a very interesting uh, team. Erin uh, is uh, experienced in design and has a design background, and Max really is the one that came up with the concept for the company. And it's really founded initially in about creating jobs in developing nations, uh, something that was important to Max, bringing back ethnic fabrics and ethnic textiles and creating clothes on that. And I think they've done a really good job in creating a unique aesthetic and a strong customer base and following. Obviously, print, color is popular in fashion. And what I'm excited to see in this collection is how they're able to develop this singular concept 
into more of their ready wear collection. I think they're an exciting young company that I love what they do, I love what they stand for. They have a very neat aesthetic and they also have a very interesting philosophy and platform of business that they work on in really providing work for countries whose people need the work. We got a phone call from Stephen Kolb from the CFDA. He called and said, guess what? You got nominated. You're in the final 10. And then I desperately tried calling Erin, who had left both her phones on her desk. And then I walk in, and he's like, we got it! And I was like, what? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. It feels good. You have the opportunity to rise to expectations, which I think is, I think is exciting.